ohms law circuit we have a battery eliminator we have a voltmeter we have a ammeter we have a resistance coil key and then we have a rheostat a rheostat is basically a coil of wire having a resistance and it has basically a variable point such that i can connect this resistance in series with the battery eliminator so that when i move this variable end of the rheostat i can control the current smoothly so i'll keep a fixed voltage of 4 volt which is giving me a specific amount of current and that current i will vary smoothly with the help of this rheostat then i have my voltmeter connected across the resistance and then i have my ammeter connected in series with the circuit let us understand the circuit starting from the positive terminal of the battery eliminator the positive terminal of the battery eliminator is gone and connected to the positive of the ammeter the negative side of the ammeter is gone and connected to the one end of the resistance coil the other end of the resistance resistance coil is gone and connected to the key which is kept open and the other end of the key is connected to one end of the rheostat and the variable end of the rheostat is this one the top one is connected to the negative terminal of the battery eliminator thereby completing the circuit to measure the voltage across this resistance we have connected a voltmeter the positive of the voltmeter is connected to the point which takes us to the positive of the battery eliminator i'll repeat the positive of the voltmeter has to be connected in such a way that that end of the wire should connect back to the positive of the battery eliminator and not the emitter the other end the negative will be connected to the other end of the resistance such that that end should go all the way to the negative of the battery eliminator if you do this then both the needles will move in the proper direction and give you the readings so let us now try to perform this experiment so i have my key let me plug it in and have a look at the voltmeter and ammeter what is happening you can see a slight movement and you have got some readings on the voltmeter and ammeter what i'll do now is i will move the rheostat variable end such that the current in the circuit is now increased currently the current is less than 0.2 amperes over here so when i increase the current this current will increase let's have a look i hold this side and let me pull it out and have a look in the voltmeter and ammeter let me zoom in over there you can see that the ammeter reading is increasing as well as the voltmeter reading also